sometimes narcissists and some plus two personality types, they will recruit flying monkeys and they will recruit enablers in order to lure you back in or to hoover you back into a narcissistic relationship. So this way, you're not very clear as to being groomed, but actually, you're being groomed for further narcissist supply. Another way that narcissists and some plus two personality types may camouflage that they're actually grooming you for narcissistic supply is if there are unresolved issues, okay? That can be childhood trauma. That can be unresolved uh, pain due to uh, a heartache or a broken heart from the past. This may be one of your exes who may be a cluster personality type. If those issues are unresolved, some cluster personality types will look for signs that you are still hurting over something that you haven't resolved yet. Okay, so one of the ways that you can resolve that is to release energy. Release heavy energy that you really don't need right now. Sign number one, they're pulling a telekinesis. In other words, they are attempting to alter your reality. They're manipulating your reality. Simply put, okay, so how does that look? When they are attempting to alter your reality, that means that what they want you to do, what the narcissist wants you to do, is to buy their perception of their reality. Therefore, it will alter yours. Because when you co-sign or when you accommodate a narcissist and supply him or her, that means you're going to have to do what? Well, that means you got to give up your life, your time, what you want, what you think, what you feel. You have to give up a lot. You have to sacrifice yourself pretty much. So when they pull a telekinesis, that means that they're grooming you to do what they want you to do. You're being groomed to think, feel, and behave in a particular way that will get your narcissist or any other narcissist you may interact with, the narcissist is supply. So you're co-signing, and most of the time, we don't know it. Now, I've gone through this myself, okay? So don't beat yourself up. Sign number two that a narcissist is grooming you is when they are performing an NLP or Neuro Linguistic Programming. Simply put, they're toying with your mind. Okay, so I just mentioned, once they get your mind, they can get everything else from you. Okay, so uh, when they reach into that trick bag of abracadabras, that's also meaning that they're on some hocus pocus. A lot of <laughs> narcissists are on some hocus pocus. Okay, just think about it. Sometimes they're quite weird in the way that they will try to get you to accommodate them. So they can get the, the narcissistic supply. Okay, so sometimes it may feel quite surreal. It may feel like that you're in a twilight zone because you're experiencing a parallel reality. What does that look like? That means that you are experiencing the relationship one way and your narcissist is experiencing it in another, which leaves them at the advantage. So when you're spending a lot of time trying to please your narcissist, that is another sign that they are uh, successful and they are effective in grooming you. So therefore, when your mind is on him or her, therefore they can toy with your mind. Sign number three that narcissists 
and some cluster personality types will attempt to groom you is when they are smear campaigning okay in other words they're they're lying to you and about you just just think about that concept for a minute it's kind of like they're double dipping a narcissist is double dipping to get the supply okay they may be spreading rumors they may be gossiping they're altering your reality because other people are also buying their perspective or their perception of the narcissist's reality. So they may start to reject you. They may start to treat you a particular way because the narcissist has smear campaign about you. Okay, they're lying to you and about you. This is where the flying monkeys and some of their enablers may come in to try to uh, help them hoover you back into a very unfavorable situation. Okay, so just think about that for a minute. They're double dipping. When they're lying to you and about you, they're double dipping. Because some people, unfortunately, they will believe you're a narcissist when they tell them about you. And it's not even true. It's not even real. See, we can go right back to that parallel reality that I was talking about. You're experiencing the narcissistic codependent relationship in one way, and your narcissist is experiencing it in another way. Therefore, you cannot have a meeting of the minds. You cannot come to the middle. There's always going to be a stalemate. Okay? So narcissists and some cluster personality types, they continue to get the narcissistic supply when you're the one that's toxic-turvy. Your world seems to be crumbling because they have you buying into their perception or their perspective of a reality. So when they're pulling all of these shenanigans, that means that they're getting the supply. And the only person that seems to really be getting hurt or bent out of the frame is you or a person that they may target. I certainly hope everyone has enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more vlogs.